you invested five to ten thousand dollars in a coaching program and you have not gotten the results. Maybe you work with multiple coaches and you still don't have the results. In this episode, we are going to talk about why people don't get the results from coaching. Listen, this is really important topic because I keep hearing from my business besties that coaching is not working, something is not working. They're overinvested. They work with big name coaches and they have not gotten the results. All right. So there are three reasons, three main reasons why people are not getting results from coaching. So I'm gonna talk about all of them. So keep watching. The first reason. Uh, why people are failing or why people are not getting the results from business coaching, I think it is the level of maturity. I think it is the level of maturity. Listen, when I started my business, I had hypothesis. I did not have an offer. I had hypothesis. And hypothesis is not an offer. Yes, it might sound like an offer, but until people buy from you, you have a hypothesis. So, but what a lot of people think, a lot of people think that they invest in a coach and there is a magic formula, there is a perfect strategy, there is a perfect coach that will get them the results. They see at the testimonials and like, okay, why Jimmy got 50K after a month working with that coach? And I, after six months working with that coach, I have not made any money yet what is wrong with me or what is wrong with that coach so let's break it down it's a level of maturity so uh any offer until you have buying customers is a hypothesis so i don't care if you're in business a year two years five years 20 years whenever you present your offer you have to test it and the way you test it, like you have to have that OTP triangle, you have to have the right offer, you have to have the right traffic for that offer, and you have to have the right positioning. And the positioning is, is your messaging. When three components align perfectly, then you have a sale. So, and this is really important to test one variable at the time. You start with your offer. You start with your offer. Maybe the wording of your offer and this is kind of falls into positioning is not correct maybe the traffic for your offering is not correct maybe the people that you are uh, that you are offering it and like are not your people and by the way let me know in the comments and if you're listening in on the podcast please send me a dm and uh, share with me have you ever gotten in the situation when you you think that you have a good offer, but you have wrong people for the wrong for the offer. People want that, but it's not the people who can afford it, or it's not the people who can implement it. This is this is very essential to like test it out. Also, um, do you use the language that they're using? A lot of people, a lot of entrepreneurs, like this is where the level of maturity comes in. We imagine what people want. We imagine what people want and we sell what we want. We sell our dream, our dream, not their dream. But it, it is essential to do your market research. It is essential to ask people, for example, when I get on the consultations uh, with people, it is essential for me to actually document what they're saying, document what questions they're asking, their objections, their misconceptions, or what how I perceive misconceptions, and document it because everything is content, and this is this is the data for my offer. So, like that is like that that is absolutely essential. So, and if you're not talking to your people, your number one priority before you even sell, if you in this situation, like my business is not profitable, nothing is selling, your number one priority is to start conversations. Forget about sales because you won't get sales until you get conversations. Start conversations, start market research, companies. Listen, we coaches, we think that we go we go online for three months and after three months we should have three million dollars after for our offers this is not how business works i'm sorry like this is where we like big companies they pay money they pay money uh to interview people 
So for you, like, I don't know, like it could be free coffee chat. It can be, you can, listen, if you are at the position, in the position where you can offer, like, I don't know, gift card, Starbucks gift card card for people just to be on the call with you, just like to chat with you, this is, this is golden. This is why, by the way, I uh, keep investing in coaching because I coach other coaches, I coach other consultants in, in coaching programs. I hear what they gotta say. Like this is like and this is pretty much paid market research for me as well. And when people uh, say, "Hey, I want to get on the call with you," I'm eager to get on the call with people because again, it's a market research. So the uh, the level of maturity. Num reason number two why people are not getting the results is because people assume that certain methodology is not going to work or they don't, if they don't implement. Listen, in my coaching program, you're not gonna have uh, a lot of modules, a lot of videos to watch, because for me, it is essential to create a coaching container, a mentorship container, when people will implement. This is not Netflix and chill for entrepreneurs. This is not Netflix for coaches. This is the mentorship program when you actually go and implement one step at a time. Like content seasons. Like, okay, let's implement your seeding content. You know, let's implement your problem content and see how audience responds. Now let's let, let's do sales. Let's get and let's get the data, right? It's not about watching thousands modules after modules after modules. Like how many modules have you watched already, right? So, but it's actually doing the work. And a lot of entrepreneurs, a lot of coaches think that something is not going to work for their audience because their audience is very unique. Oh, live streams are not working for my audience. Oh, uh, oh, uh, my audience is not on LinkedIn. Um, my audience probably is not going to watch YouTube. Until you tested it and until you have done the work, until you achieve the mastery in that methodology, you can't say that it's not working. It's not working. Maybe you implemented that, but like, listen, implementing something one time, it is not mastery. It is not mastery. And entrepreneurship, listen, when you are building your business in economic downturn, uh, you should strive for excellence. Your like your bare minimum is excellence, and this is the repetitional and this is constant analysis. This is constant analysis. After you tested something for thirty, sixty, and ninety days, then you can uh, relate to it. By the way, if you're watching it on YouTube, uh, comment thirty, sixty, ninety. Thirty days, sixty days. In 90 days, this is how you test your methodology, but you can't assign anything to level of difficulties until you actually test it. And the reason number three why coaches is not working, maybe it's not the right coach for you. Listen, let me tell you a story. I work with three coaches, four coaches, actually. Um, my first coaching container was three-day um, webinar. And that three-day webinar, I get what I needed to do. It was pre-sale, right? And I paid $2,700 to just be in those three days. It was pre-sale for a larger mastermind that would cost me $20,000. I did not invest because I did not see the safe up. Well, the clear option for the for the payment plan. And I didn't have $20,000 just like that laying in my bank account. So, but can I say that that coaching did not work for me? I could. However, what worked for me, because there's also duality. There's always duality. Did I get pay, did I get pay clients after three days uh, webinar that I paid $2,700? No, I have not. No, I did not. I did not get any clients from that. What did I get? I implemented YouTube ads or sorry, Facebook ads, and I get, I, I get probably 30 people on my empty email list. This is the result, right? Like, did I get the right people? Probably not. Did I implement my um, Facebook ads right? Probably not. I probably did everything wrong. I implemented my email sequence probably, like, I'm, 
probably implementing the majority of stuff wrong, but I get the results. I get people in my mail list, for example. That's that's that that's first the result. Then I invested in LinkedIn coaching, how to generate leads from LinkedIn. So I did not get any sales. Can I say that it's not that it did not work for me? Absolutely, but also I become the top voice on LinkedIn. I grew my network really, really fast. And uh, when I start working with a messaging coach that will actually look, somebody who will look at my business, I got a sale. I started getting sales. And then I started working with another mentor that was more in alignment with me, that was more, uh, who, who I, I personally resonated with that coach a little bit more. And I got a little, a, a little bit better traction. Maybe your big name coach is not the coach for you. Sometimes, listen, when I work with people, when I work with coaches and consultants, it is essential for me that I look at their businesses because this is what works for me best. When somebody is look at my business, this is why I work in a small capacity with people because I want to look at your business. I want to handhold you. I want to guide you like through the process, right? Big name coaches, when you are in the launch container, sometimes like it's, it's not realistic when there are other like hundreds of people in the same container that that coach will look at your business precisely. This is not feasible. Either they need to have a lot more coaches and those coaches must be excellent Otherwise, you're not going to get good experience. So maybe it's just not the right coach because sometimes we sometimes we dismiss coaches because of the vanity metrics, right? Like, okay, like this is not Tiny Robbins, probably not going to work for me. But when you look at big coaches, like think about like, where are you at? What level of support you need in your business right now? Like uh, who is looking at your business and like, are you able to implement or do you need more? Do you need more feedback? Because for me personally, direct feedback from my coaches is essential because you can implement the same strategy, but you can implement it wrong and you don't get the results. So big name coach doesn't mean big results. And it's all about like really finding the coach, finding the match that matches for you. Maybe it's a big name coach. Maybe it's like, like I don't know, like pick a name and you will get amazing results. Or maybe you need to work with a mentor who will work with you privately and in a small capacity in a small group with, with additional one-on-ones to look at your business. That's also the case. So uh, let me know in the comments what... Uh, what is your favorite uh, way to work with a mentor? Do you like working one-on-one? Do you like big name coaches? Do you like big groups? Do you like big communities? What are you looking for? Because it is essential for me. Also, listen, if you're looking for a mentor, I have a private mentorship program for coaches and consultants. It's a six months container, and I invite you to have a conversation with me. Uh, the link to schedule a call with me is in the comments. So grab the link, schedule a call with me. I will personally look at your business. I will provide you feedback. And if it is the right fit, if it is the right match, I would like to work with you. Tomorrow, I'm going live at 10 a.m. We continue our um, series 10 Steps to 10 k Month from Your Business. And tomorrow, we're going to talk about your offer. So it's gonna be it's gonna be dope. I'm gonna be live on uh, LinkedIn. I'm gonna go live on here on YouTube and uh, Instagram. So I will see you there. So bring your questions. All right, bye, y'all.